Hey guys, Paul Zakopoulos back, and finally another episode of 5 Minutes to Save You 50. This is episode 4, this is where I get 5 minutes of your time, and I'll guarantee to save you 50 minutes in a year. The feedback from the first couple of episodes have been hours and hours, so thousands of minutes in a year. The one problem is, well, this is only five minutes of your time. It's a little more my time. So I apologize. I've been away from this for a bit. But I told myself once I got about 50 notes asking for more, then I would record another session. I got my 50th note the other day asking about backgrounds. So if you recall, um, I showed you how to remove a simple white background because I think this type of slide is ugly when people copy and paste that stuff. And you could just click on that and select the color and select transparent color, but watch what's gonna happen. And you get that little frizz. That was the exact comment that, that someone had had. And so I was trying to show you different types of techniques. I think I've shown you two of them so far. I have another one after this on how to work with images and make them look more professional in your environment. So I'll show you a different way. So this is a slide around Apache Hadoop. The point here is quite frankly at its core, Hadoop is Hadoop is Hadoop. It's like drinking Dasani water or Aquafina water. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, all of these components, especially with things like um, the IBM open platform for Apache Dupe, which is built on the ODPI foundation, which is exactly this. Well, anyway, so that's the business case behind the slide I'm trying to talk about here. That Hadoop is Hadoop is Hadoop. So how do I go and work with this? Well, uh, what I would do is I will double click on here. And when I double click, I select uh, the picture format, as you can see up here. And see this thing called Remove Background? That's what we're going to use this time. So watch. I click Remove Background, and now I'm going to get these control handles to work around the image I want to remove. And, you know, it can take some time to get through this, and it can be pretty uh, meticulous work sometimes, but what I first try to do is surround the image I want. Sometimes it's going to work perfect. Now, performance can be a little slow, when I go into this mode at times. Um, and you can see here that I've perfectly selected that image. Watch what happens. Look at that. Now, see at the bottom here? I've actually got some stuff here, right? So then you kind of go back and that's where I'll go back to remove image and you're gonna go in and out of remove image. Now everything works still here. So if you uh, select a region, it selects too much. Sometimes you'll find that it actually hurts the image. You can just undo it, right? But then what I will do is uh, go deep in here. And then here I want to get this stuff out. See here before, this is a plus. That means it's going to add to the image. So watch, if I wanted to, and when it's a minus, it will remove it from the image. So you can see here, I want to remove this stuff. And you just create these brush strokes. And it will guess, and sometimes it's not going to guess very well. But I like to kind of go like that. And now you'll see that we are rocking. All right, so go do this to the other image. So this is pretty fast. Of course, the whole point of all these little tips is to not have to make you go to graphics to make your stuff look half decent. Because if there's one thing I hate is bad PowerPoint. So you can see here, kind of interesting, right? It's guessing, it's not getting the top. I've got it fully boxed in a second here. And it still can't get the top. You know, maybe I'll give it a little more on the side. Oh, there it goes. So see, you play around with it, right? I had boxed it, I added a little more. Once again, I've got a little dot on the top. I'm gonna go and, uh, Clean that up right now. Should be able to. We'll go to remove background. And let's see. And sometimes you'll find this, right? That it's so cut loose or it's so cut tight that I can't get out that white piece. I'm going to try to do that now. It may not be perfect. What I would do is probably go back and re screen cap this image and give it a touch of border. Um, but you can see here, I'll go like that. And now I've lost the cap, right? That's what I'm talking about, how stuff may not work. However, let me go and try to re add the cap. Let's see what happens. Okay, and so you can see I just had to start from scratch again. And I've got most of it. I got a little dot here I don't like. Oh, now I gotta go back again. Yeah, now I think I got it. Okay, now that looks a little jaggy, but look how zoomed in I'm in. And then I'll give it to you in the presentation mode. And you can see that's pretty good. All right, now obviously if I was to present that, I would uh, reduce the size of these guys, All right? Or gals, I guess I don't know what they are, but okay. And there's your presentation. You don't have the fuzzy effect, and I've done pretty good there. And so when you learn this, you can do some pretty cool stuff, right? So let me show you an example. Now, if I have this image and I wanted to give it 
um, a bit of a pop, if you will. Right? I want to make it kind of stand out. So the one thing I would do is I'll take the image and I'll copy it. Now I'll place it right over. I'll learn my selection pane, which was the inaugural five minutes to save you 50. And I'll go hide the front image. Okay. Now the image isn't showing up anymore. Then I'm going to go and take this image and I'm going to take a color and I'm going to move it to some kind of black and white. I don't know. Okay. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to show my other image. Oh, it looks like I selected the wrong one. So no problem. I'll just send that to the back. And here's our image. Okay. So again, the selection pane, you should know it. See that? I'm hiding the image without having to move it. Okay. So let's show you something cool here. To double click on that we're going to go remove background i think if we just had the uh, pencils and stuff like that sticking out of the jar that that would look pretty cool so there we go i'm just going to tighten this up a bit i'll have some work to do here probably okay and then i want to get the top of that up here the top of this hat i'm not quite getting it yet you got to tinker around with it so i've selected the area that i want there we go. Still doesn't want to give me that top. I know I can go get it manually, but I'll give it a couple of other options here to see if I can get it. All right. Now I have to do some of my takeaway work. My takeaway work is going to start here. Now you saw that turn to a, plus, or a minus, right? That's when I know I'm in this takeaway mode. And you'll find the algorithm's interesting because sometimes it does it like perfectly and sometimes it doesn't because I tested this pretty easily uh, before and it worked great. But All right. So... There's a great example of a selection that kind of hurt me. So maybe I'll take that back out. And now that I pressed it, right? And then I'll just kind of do a little more piecemeal and see what I get. Okay, so now I'm, I'm getting there. I'm starting to get there. The only answer might be to remove it. There we go. Now we're getting pretty close, guys. There's a uh, minus here to be taken out. Okay. Right. I just got to fix this out here. Again, this is way better than sending it off to graphics and waiting for a couple of days to get someone's attention. Now I'll take that away. And now, if you go look at that, I think that gives it some color pop, which is what that little trick is called. So uh, that is uh, today's episode, and I hope you enjoy it and leave some feedback, and have a great day.